this episode of Queen's Delish, we are visiting Jackson Heights and we're having birria tacos. And the food truck, it's called Birria Landia. People from all over travel for this location. Yeah. So, so let's, let's go have out. some yummy tacos. Let's go. So we have only four islands in our, in our menu, tostadas, tacos, consomme, mulitas. We, I think we try one each. I'm a chef from Italian food. And, and my neighbors in, in Mexico, little town, they, they sell birria for life in Tijuana. When I come back to my town and they come back to from Tijuana, they make birria for us. This kind of tacos start in Tijuana, then San Diego, then LA and then I, I, I bring over here to New York. What do you think? It's really, really good. <laughs> you know that the food is oh yummy when it's messy. Like you can tell like it's yummy just by how messy it is. If the food is messy, it's delicious. Oh my goodness, this is really good, Jose. It was originally a soup, and then they would dip it, you would eat it with uh, tortilla on the side, right? The this, this style starts like, a, we, we take the meat of the, of the, of the brodo, we chop, we, we sell the tacos, and the brodo, we lost, we throw it away, we, we don't save it for next day or the next batch, batch of birria. And over here, I, I, I created it like, like consomme, I added meat. A lot of people, they pass just for the, for the consomme. So the taco doesn't come with the consomme? No, none. You can order it separate? Separate, yeah. When I, the company I, work, I was working for, they opened restaurants in LA. Before in Chicago, I spent one year in Chicago, then I come back to New York, they opened uh, LA, and they sent me to me as chef to open uh, Italy, Italy, LA. And I, I, I found over there how popular is the beer, and it's something like I already have in mind. I crossed the board to Tijuana, Mexico, to learn for the original and, and I learned a lot. And, and when I come back to New York, after a few months, I, I feel like I want to tacos the beer again and it's not, nobody's not, not here in New York. So I started make, making a, a food family meal for my co-workers in the restaurant and they love it. They tell me, when you go make again the, the tacos? And I say, ah, but the meat, I was taking the meat from, from the restaurant. I was afraid about the manager, the owner, but the manager said, no, no, make it, make it, take any meat you want. And I was practicing for free as family meal, and I, will, I, will, I started creating my own recipe. This is the tostada, it's only one. Okay. It's this light. Is, it's lighter than the taco. This one is. This is not deep fry. Not deep fry. It's slow, flat grill. Like you need passion for do this. My guys in the garage, when they finish to watch the truck, clean the trucks, that's the second step they do. Start do the tostadas. Well, how many hours does it cook? This takes three, three and a half to four hours. What does it take to have a successful food truck? Is it about the food, the location? Most of the location, because. Uh, Example, if I want to rent over here, and this is the corner, the bus stop is there, the train stop, but all the, 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 the places are, are full, I, I need to wait, and that may be years and years. And the, and the other thing, when you start with a food truck, is because it's a risk. You may be making, you may be not. And uh, if you don't make it well over here, you can move the truck to the, to the other part of the city. And it's, the inspection is more easy to pass. They, they use inspection, everything working well with the truck. But at places, you have to request for many more uh, license, like proof from the uh, build department, proof of the city. This is the Molita. There we go. I like this too. This is the favorite, the favorite dish for the, the kids. Really? Friends of mine did tell me, are so good, your tacos are very good, but the mulitas, you cross the border. <laughs> I said, what I mean, so good. 
because this one is, uh, is cheesy, you feel less the, the spicy sauce. Uh, people from Colombia, other countries, they don't eat so spicy like, like Mexicans. They love this. Is it hard to get a permit for a food truck? Uh, no, not so, so hard, but that one is uh, the permit is right here. This we rent for two years. Every two years we need to expire, we need to switch in. And we rent to the person. Usually they, they all know the permits are all, 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 all persons. Like they, they apply, because now it's frozen. You do not, not wait till you apply for one and you get what they have, they have already. The city don't get any more permits. It's like the yellow cabs, the taxis, you don't get, you have to rent with the person have it. And it's, and it's legal, they are on, they rent to me, they get the money and I, I use the permits. Otro poquito. How much a month are your expenses? Let's let's say close to six thousand wow. for each truck and it's three trucks. People do I know they start the business, I feel a little bad. They they buy the truck, they start sell after six, seven months they they offer me, they say you wanna buy? I was thinking it's more easy. Yeah, I say yeah. We we think it's it's easy but it's it's very hard. When they began me, I was start work I was working four days in this food truck. And I keep on working three days in the restaurant, the Italian restaurant I work on for my brother too. So it's the mean is like you go to you go you go a bed like two, three a.m. and at ten a.m. you have to wake up. But that mean it's like every day. And we start getting busy. I was working in Long Island. I finished work to I finished working over there in the restaurant at eleven. I take my car, I drive into Long Island City to cook a birria for hours. I get back five a.m. to my room. At ten a.m. go back to, to work and. Uh, I started this business with me, my brother and friends, they, they come to help me because we are friends, I pay minimum. It's not like uh, they really need a job, they help me because they, they know me. And little by little, yeah, the first day when we sell $500, I get happy. $500 enough, you are fine, it's enough for pay all your bills. But if you sell less than $500, you, it's not enough, you have to put from your pocket at the end of the week when you pay, you, you pay roll and pay the meat. That's it for today's episode. We'll see you next time on Queen Village. Yeah, 7 a.m. Rufel Avenue, guys. We are here seven days a week, 5 p.m. to 1 a.m.